Hi, I would like to demonstrate some of the very interesting and unique features of Spinetech VBS Debugger. First, we open a file, we want to debug, okay, the start points to it, and the parameters are set for this file, and then we press run. As you can see, it instantly stops. This is very interesting. It, with, with, the, with Spinetech VBS Debugger, it's very fast. The debugging is, happens very fast. Steps are almost instant. And basically, the, the whole debugging experience is very, very smooth. Now, here's what I want to show you first. First, some debugging. This is a unique feature of Spinetech VBS Debugger. Uh, and all of my debuggers, basically. Uh, it stores all the steps you took. So if you step, notice, it adds, adds another line here, another line, and the code is is written here. So you, you could have a pretty good idea of where your code went and how your code, code performed and what exactly happened. And you can go back and forth like this along every steps you took and navigate back to where you were. This feature is very interesting, very important uh, when you're debugging fast or when uh, you have a large code and you don't really remember right away which branch of if it took and how it went. You don't have to restart. Having this feature allows you to just revisit where you were and now you no longer have to restart debugging to, uh, because you no longer remember like uh, how you got there. So this is a feature number one. Uh, another feature that I find very useful, which is very unique among uh, my debugger, and very unique to Spinetech VBS debugger as well, it's this feature uh, that I call Step Through. I don't know of any other debugger in the world that offers this. This is a fantastic productivity feature. It basically allows you to, uh, to step automatically through your code until you get into a new function. Okay? To demonstrate, you just pay attention to call stack. Uh, for example, I say a maximum number of steps I want the debugger to take is 50, which is pretty big, but you know, it's not infinite. Uh, and I just, instead of clicking step in, I'm clicking step through. Let's see what happens. You see? It stepped all of those steps for us. And it stopped in a new function call on the first line when it got inside, when it stepped into a new function. So this way you were skipped all of this completely, you know, honestly not interesting pieces of code, you know, and that's just some while, I don't know what is it doing, I guess it's processing some arguments, you know, but what's really, really important, and I'm sure you agree with me, uh, that the most important things happen when a function, when a new function is called. You can see the name of the function, you know, inspect which which uh, parameters were passed uh, by mousing over, and uh, you know, and check out uh, overall. So, so. This is a very unique feature of stepping through. Let's continue. This time, when I click step through, it got into a new function, which is visible by call stack, and it paused in, in it, and we can see that this time it only took two steps. I will continue like that. Again, it stepped out of this function, and it paused in the first line out of this function. So as you can see, with this feature, you really follow uh, more closely, the cl more closely the uh, overall structure of, of a program, uh, and you really skip the, the unimportant details. Uh, you know, like what is it? Turn, you know, the, the 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 lines of code that are really don't really bear that much information. So that's the uh, unique feature number two. Uh, a unique feature number three I want to demonstrate. There are more features like that. Uh, th this is just the double script echoes of, of the script. 
which are uh, um, irrelevant to my demonstration. Uh, I want to show you IntelliSense. Now, first of all, you can use it like a normal IntelliSense. So, you don't have to remember what double, what double script holds, you just do double script dot, up and down, and you get your IntelliSense in a separate dockable panel. And it has this nice band in it, and, and the parameters are, are shown like this. And it, just double clicking it here or pressing enter, you know, really pastes it into the code for you. There are several distinct advantages of this approach that I implemented. This, first of all, as you can see, after you paste it, the IntelliSense uh, panel didn't disappear. Usually, as you know, if you do press dot and, and it shows you this small kind of like pop-up window where you select and after you select it disappears. I find it a little bit kind of fragile, you know, when 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 just a pop-up shows and, and you click somewhere, you scroll, it disappears and it really, you know, annoys me quite frankly sometimes. So that's why in my debuggers I implemented it as a separate panel that doesn't disappear. So this is point number one. Point number two is also it prints out right away the the the, the parameters. So you can just double click and edit them, and you don't have to again manipulate like usually you have to do with the we put a bracket and then there's a small hint there, and then that hint disappears. You know, it's I find uh, industry standard implementation of IntelliSense a little bit fragile to my taste. I find that this implementation is more solid because you see nothing disappears. Okay, well, this, is, <laughs> this also happens. Okay, uh, nothing disappears, and uh, that, so that's very important. The, the other thing is, if you, you can inspect with this panel any any ActiveX uh, co component uh, that that you can instantiate in VBS. And it takes the fields right from them, so it's, they are not hard coded. So this is I'm inspect, inspecting the record set. So I have uh, some file system objects here. Any any object layer, and you can inspect and take a look and familiarize yourself with uh, its particular uh, uh, fields and uh, properties, etc. And I find this also very useful, and it's within the same panel. So that's why this IntelliSense panel that I have in, in my debugger I think is, is better uh, and is more productive than, than a standard IntelliSense. So, uh, well, uh, th this concludes uh, the three important features. There are some more important features I'm going to show you, but that's for the next videos. Thank you very much. Goodbye.